How is it possible for a student to study eight subjects, eight tough subjects in whatever course they did in a senior high school and then get straight A's? How are they able to remember everything they studied right from year one, year two, year three, and on the day of the exams, which is the WASI? Relax if you are watching this video because I'm going to give you the exact strategies I've been giving to my students. I've been preparing students for the past five years, even and more, to prepare for the WASI and the NOVDEC. So if you want to change your conversation from this to that, watch this video till the end. Now, the strategies I'm going to give you are very simple. All you have to do is to just copy them and then get your street ease. Now, did you know that the WASI or the WIREC exams is a competition? Now, once you're writing your WASI or your NOVDEC, you know that you want to get into a tertiary institution. Whatever course, you choose you are going to be selected based on the best grade so you're actually in a competition now if you are preparing for a competition how do you go about it are you supposed to read more to fill yourself or fill your head with more knowledge or you are supposed to do something which is a secret i'm going to show you now let's look at this analogy think of an athlete who is going for a race you know he watches the best people on the screens learns their strategies but chooses not to go to the field. Do you think he's going to be the best? <laughs> I beg to differ. So after watching them, what he's supposed to do is to get onto the field and then practice what he learned on the screen. Now, anytime you are sitting in class, you are getting more and more knowledge. You are studying, you are getting more and more knowledge. During the WAIEC exams, what you do is you answer questions. So the first strategy I give to my students is to answer more questions than you read. Now, if you are always fond of reading, you realize that there are points where you get where you think that you know. But I believe it has ever occurred in an exam you wrote where you knew you studied this thing, but you couldn't remember. The reason was because you didn't put what happens during exams to work. During exams, you answer questions, you write. And you know, sometimes it might feel like, oh, I know this already. So why not? Why should I write it? You know, you are training yourself, you are training your memory, you are training your motor skills, you are training your writing to always answer questions. So let me prove to you why this strategy of answering questions always work. You know, for students who always say they don't like maths, you saying you don't like maths alone, you know, takes you out of the picture. Now, when you are studying maths, you don't read. What do you do? You answer the questions, you write. You said you are studying, but you're actually solving questions. Now, have you ever solved the question and you got to a point where you forgot you were lost exactly on what to do. You were in the process of solving the question. It doesn't happen most often. Why? Because you are used to that pattern and you always solve. For reading subjects, you see the question, you think, I've read, I've read this before, but I, I don't remember. And you can't write anything because you've forgotten the point. Why? Because you didn't train yourself to retrieve, to answer questions. And, you know, the WASI or any exam is like you are a mental athlete. You are not just, you know, answering questions, but your ability to manage your time, your attention, your focus, your resilience, these are all tested. So when you answer questions on your own and, you know, you simulate the examination environment, you are putting yourself in that environment ready for war. You know, soldiers prepare for war by constructing their enemy's territory they build that enemy's territory everything with the buildings and correct dimensions of how the compound is and everything so that they can be at their best this is what students who get it is do and this is what you should copy no matter how you feel oh it's too difficult you know if you don't sacrifice how can you reap the benefits so the first strategy is to answer more questions answer more questions than you read for example when you are going to revise, when you are going for your prep, you have your free study time. Instead of picking your book and then rereading what you studied a week or two ago, what you are supposed to do is to answer questions. If there are no questions, pick out your writing material and your pen and then just write what you remember. When you do that, you're actually practicing for the actual competition, which is the exam. And you are most likely to remember most of the things you retrieve from memory than what you reread. Rereading makes you feel 
Mm, I know it already. It just gives you that illusion of mastery. You are so familiar with it. But when you study and then you have a focus of answering questions, you realize that, you know, answering questions requires more mental effort. Now, if the WASI is actually a competition, then you need a strategy. You need a strategy. For anything that is a competition, there is a strategy. Now, your strategy should be this. No fear, no matter what. Now, you would only fear when you think that you've not studied enough. And one thing that I've always told my students that blows their mind is you don't need to study everything to get an A. Now, you bear with me that all the questions are not coming from all the topics. The strategy here is to study and master the topics that mostly occur. Now, if you have a past question, what you have to do is go through the past question cover to cover. Pick out the top 10 or 15 topics that always drop. Look at the objectives and the subjectives. The ones that have the most questions, give attention to them. You don't need to study everything. Otherwise, you are, you are working hard. You need to work smart. And that is how the students who get the street is go about it. But don't forget, these top questions that always drop have foundational topics you are supposed to understand. So you can go to your tutor to help you know the foundational topics, to understand these top topics that always drop in your exams. Now, this is a strategy. You are actually ready to get your straight E's. It is students don't wait for the tutor to teach before they know something. They put their learning into their own hands. They put their academic success, the destiny of their academic success into their own hands. They are not waiting for the tutor to come to class to teach before they know it. Now, let's look at these two students. Student A, who thinks he's prim and proper, doesn't study anything, always carries his notebooks, goes to class, waiting for the tutor to come before he learns something. But I believe you was once in school and a tutor didn't show up for a number of periods or days, but you still wrote the exams. Whether your tutor shows up in class or not, you will be tested. So take advantage of your vacations. Either you go for classes or you study on your own by using YouTube or any video platform where things are taught in an orderly fashion. Listen, you cannot pass by yourself. You need someone to help you. You need someone to teach you. You need someone to guide you. That is why you should attend the classes or get someone to teach you and then show you the strategies like you are doing. Now, speaking of strategy, any soldier who is going for a battle or a war definitely has secrets. Now, if you don't have secrets, <laughs> you are in trouble because you don't know what to expect. Now, knowing what to expect gives you boldness, courage. And once you are courageous in anything, you know that you are headed for success. Now, speaking of strategy, I have designed a template of subjects that I taught, science-related subjects. You find a link in the comment section pinned, or you find it in the video description as well. Tap on it. It will bring you to my DM. You will see um, a default message in your text box. Tap on send. And then you just have to comment free guide. When you send me free guide, you receive the link, you open it, write out the subjects, write out the topics as well, and then just copy my strategy. You are surely ready for your eight is. Now, if you've learned something from this video, kindly comment in the comment section what you have learned so that the YouTube algorithm will push the videos to others who are preparing for the WASI to also get their street is. Now, I want you to also comment in the comment section, I'm ready for street is. Thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, and expect more.